Hey there guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez. Welcome to episode 20 of Logo History Showdown, where today we've got two animation studios scoring off against each other. But only one will win it all. But what's it going to be? We're going to find out. But first, we got to get the results of our preview showdown. But by the way, it's based on Logo Battle by Peter John. So remember that. Anyways, let's get into our preview showdown. In our preview showdown, DC Comics took on Marvel Comics to see which comic book publisher is the best. Voting is now closed thanks to everyone who voted. Now we can get the results of the voting. The results are in. Which comic book publisher will win it all? The Justice League or the Avengers? Let's find out. The winner of this showdown, winning episode 19 of Logan History Showdown, is... Marvel Comics! Congratulations! What a win for Marvel Comics. The Avengers have, have assembled, and they have reigned victorious. So congratulations to Marvel Comics. Let's take a look at the final results. Unbelievable. 81% say Marvel Comics for the win. Yes, it does. 19% of you, unfortunately, said DC Comics, but that didn't happen, my friends. So sorry for DC Comics. That didn't happen. The Justice League have suffered defeat. But don't worry, they will rise again. For Marvel Comics, they have reigned victorious. So congratulations to Marvel Comics with 81% of your votes over, over DC Comics with 19%. Marvel Comics wins with episode 19 of Logo History Show now. So congratulations again. If you want to go see the match against up there on the top right corner of the screen, so please click the up for card up above and watch it whenever you want. Anytime you want. Now with that match out of the way, let's get into today's showdown. For this episode, episode 20, we got a battle of the most popular animation studios. It's between Pixar Animation Studios and DreamWorks Animation. Guys, this should be pretty interesting. We're going to get into it today. One of these animation studios is going down. One is from, uh, one is responsible for Toy Story. The other is responsible for Shrek. What's it going to be? Let's find out right now. But first, images are taken for local PA. Critical is everyone. What you're about to see does not belong to me, nor to anybody else. So remember now, so you go a lot. Guy, good. With all that said, let's get started. First up, in the black corner, Pixar Animation Studios. You have to drop my head for those who don't know what Pixar Animation Studios is. Pixar Animation Studios, or Pixar, is an American computer animation studio known for its critically co and commercially successful computer animated feature films. It is based in Emberville, California. Since 2006, Pixar has been a, a subsidiary of Walt Disney Studios, a division of Disney Entertainment, which is owned by the Walt Disney Company. Pixar started in 1979 as part of the Lucasfilm Computer Division, where it was known as the Graphics Group, before its payoff as a corporation in 1986 with funding from Apple co-founder Steve Jobs, who became its majority shareholder. Disney purchased Pixar in January 2006 at a valuation of 7.4 uh, at over 7.4 plus billion dollars by converting each share of Pixar stock to 2.3 shares uh, yet yeah, uh, 2.3 shares of Disney stock. Pixar is best known for its feature films, te technologically and technologically powered by Random Man, the company's own implementation of, in of the industry standard Random Man interface spe specification image rendering API. The studio's mascot is Lexo Jr., a desk lamp for the studio's 1986 short film of the same name. Pixar produced 26 feature films, starting with Toy Story for, Nights, with, sorry, with Toy Story for 1995, which is the first fully computer animated feature film. Its most recent film was Lightyear for 2022. And by the way, we got more coming up. The next film will be the next film will be um, Elemental. So be on the lookout for that, as well as Elio and Inside Out 2. So be on the lookout for that as well. The studio has also produced many short films. As of July 2019, it, its feature films have earned approximately $14 billion at the worldwide box office, with an average worldwide gross of $680 million per film. Toy Story 3 from 2010, Fighting Dory from 2016, Incredibles 2 from 2018, and Toy Story 4 from 2019 are among the 50 highest grossing films of all time. And that's why I have a Ducky and Bunny plush choice. I have plush choice of Ducky and Bunny with me. I know. This should be pretty interesting. Um, Incredibles 2 is the studio's highest grossing film as well as the fourth highest grossing animated film of all time, with a gross of $1.2 billion. The other three also grossed over $1 billion. Moreover, 15 of Pixar's films are, are the 50 highest grossing animated films of all time. Pixar has earned 23 Academy Awards, 10 Golden Globe Awards, and 11 Grammy Awards, along with numerous awards and, and acknowledgments. Its films are frequently nominated for the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature since its inauguration in 2001, with 11 winners being Finding Nemo from 2003, The Incredibles from 2004, Ratatouille from 2007, Rat Wall E from 2008, Up from 2009, Toy Story 3 from 2010, Brave from 2012, Inside Out from 2015, Coco from 2017, Toy Story 4 from 2019, and Soul from 2020. The six nominated films that did not win are Monsters Inc. Monsters Inc. from 2001, Cars from 2006, Incredibles 2 from 2018, Onward from 2020, Lookout from 2021, and Turning Red from 2022. Cars 2 
Monsters of Cars 2 for 2011, Monsters University 2013, The Good Dinosaur for 2015, Fighting Away for 2016, and Cars, the Cars 3 2017 and the aforementioned Light Year were not nominated. In addition, Toy Story 3 and Up were nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. Okay. On February 10th, 2009, yeah, 2009, Pixar executives John Lasseter, Brad Bird, Pete Doctor, Andrew Stanton, and Lee Unkrich uh, were presented with the Golden Lion Award for Lifetime Achievement by the Venice Film Festival. The physical award was ceremoniously handled, handed to Lucasfilm's founder, George Lucas. Man, that's a lot of information, my friends. Let's take a look at stats. Studio name is Pixar Animation Studios Industries Animation, founded on February 3rd, 1986 in Richmond, California. Owners of Walt Disney Company. Headquarters are at 1200 Park Avenue, Emeryville, California. U.S. It did not have a slogan. Website www.pixar.com. Link in the description down below. Please go check it out while you can. For now, let's jump right into it. The local history of Pixar Animation Studios. 1979 to 86, the company was founded as the Graphics Group. So we have the word the in in transparent text on a, on a white outline. On the right of it, there's word graphics in red text. On the right of it, there's word group in black text. Under, under all these words, there's a black rounded shape inside it. There are letters G and G in red and black text. The other, the other G is in, 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 is mirrored. Yes, under under the under the shape there are words the art of visual and communication in black text. Except the word art is in red text. So yeah, that's all I gotta say. Nice eighty six to nice eighty four. Then change your name to Pixar. So here we have a silver square on a, on a white and gray outline on it. There's a there's a gray and white gradient circle. And under the circle, under the square, there's where Pixar in black text between each word, uh, between each letter, there are three black, there, there are four black dots. So that's it. Here's the icon, another version of the icon, the, the 3D version, another 3D version with, the, with red, green, blue, and gray dots. So that's something. The box version, the version used on their computer, and the Walmart. If I had a to the present, they changed their name to Pixar Animation Studios. So we just have the word Pixar in black text, under the words Animation Studios in black text. So that's it. Here's a variant, another variant, the word mark, another word mark, the version without the word Animation Studios, uh, the version used on, on the opening side, the version with Tinny from Tin Toy, I know, the version with the Adidas logo, and the byline. That's it. Now we on. There I put it in the blue corner. DreamWorks Animation. Here's the show by for those of you who don't know what DreamWorks Animation is. DreamWorks Animation LLC. DWA, also known as DreamWorks Animation Studios, and simply known as DreamWorks. It's an American animation studio that produces animated films and television programs, and it's a subsidiary of Universal Pictures, a division of NBC Universal, which itself is a, is a division, which is itself a division of Comcast. The studio has released 44 feature films as of December 2022, including several of the highest grossing animated films of all time, with Shrek 2 from 2004 being, having been the highest grossing, the highest at the time of its release. The studio's first film, Ants, was released on October 2nd, 1998, and its latest film was Put to Boots, The Last Wish, which was released on December 21st, 2022. Their upcoming latest films include Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken on June 30th, 2023, Trolls Band Together on November 17th, 2023, and Kung Fu Panda 4 on March 8th, 2024, which is less than a year from now, so remember that. Additionally, an untitled film is scheduled to be released on February 9th, 2024. I know. Form, formed as a division of DreamWorks Pictures in 1994 with alumni from Amelie Entertainment's former animation branch, Amblimation, it was split off into a separate company in 2004. NBC Universal acquired DreamWorks Animation at a cost of $3.8 billion in 2016. The studio originally made some traditionally animated films, as well as as well as two stop motion co-productions with Arma Animations, but now exclusively relies on computer animation. Its productions, including The Prince of Egypt, Wallace of Gromit, The Curse of the Winter Rabbit, and The Shrek, Madagascar, Kung Fu Panda, How to Treat Dragon Franchises, have received various accolades, including three Academy Awards, 41 Emmy Awards, numerous Emmy Awards, and multiple Golden Globe and BAFTA Awards. Remember that, B-A-F-T-A. Got it? Good. Films produced by DreamWorks Animation were originally distributed by, uh, by DreamWorks Pictures until 2005. Paramount Pictures distributed its releases from 2006 to 2012, and 20th Century Fox, currently known as 20th Century Studios, did the same from 2013 to 2017. All DWA films from 2019 onwards have been released through Universal Pictures, which owns most of the rights to its back catalog. Okay. That should be pretty good. Let's take a look at the stats. Studio name is DreamWorks Animation Industries Animation Animated Films. Been founded on August 12, 1994 as a division of DreamWorks, uh, DreamWorks and Pictures and on October 22, 2004 as DreamWorks Animation SKG. Owners at NBC Universal, which is owned by Comcast. Headquarters are at 1000 Flower Street, Glendale, California, 91201 US. They don't have a slogan like Pixar. Website is www.dreamworksanimation.com. 
sorry, www.dreamworks.com. Link in the description down below. Please go check it out. Now, let's get right to the logo history of DreamWorks Animation. Night Sight 8 says for this word DreamWorks in black text, under right there is the black light, under right there is for animation in black text. So that's it. Here's the unused version of variants and another variant. 2004, 2006, they changed the name to DreamWorks Animation SKG. So here we have a black moon on it. There's a black symbol of a boy holding one sitting while holding a fishing rod. Under the moon, there was there's, there's where DreamWorks in black text. Under it, there's a black lie. Under it, there was animation and SKG in black text. So yeah, that's it. Here's a variant, uh, the color version, the blue version, the print version, the war mark, uh, the horizontal version, and the version with the Artman name. So that's it. And we also have um, we also have a prototype logo with that's colored and the blue prototype uh, prototype logo. That's it. 2007, 2018, the, the boy, the moon, the lion, and the text are now blue. Also, the boy, the moon, and the lion now look different than before. Also, the words animation, also, also, the words animation SKG as model, and now in the middle of the line. So that's it. Here's the print version, the color version, the a variant, the print version of a variant, the horizontal version, the print version of a horizontal version, another horizontal version, the print version of another horizontal version, the war mark, and another war mark. We also have the 28th anniversary version. 2014 to 2017, there's World DreamWorks in blue text. On the D, there's a white moon. Uh, and on there, there's a white boy sitting while holding a fishing rod. So that's it. Here's the color version and a version with the slogan, The Dream is Everything. And finally, 2016 to the present, they changed their name back to DreamWorks Animation. So there's the word, there's a dark blue circle on it. There's a, there's a transparent moon on it. There's a transparent silhouette of a boy sitting while holding a fishing rod. And on the, uh, out of the circle, there's where DreamWorks in dark blue text. Man, that's a lot of fun. Here's the bright version, the dark print version, the horizontal version, the uh, the bright version of the horizontal version, the print version of the horizontal version, the icon, the print version, the bright version of the icon, the print version of the icon, the Fabcon, uh, the Moon Boy Fabcon, I know it's the Walmart, the bright version of the Walmart, the print version of the Walmart, the 25th anniversary version, the version, the horizontal version with the byline, the bright version of the horizontal version with the byline. The print version of the horizontal version with the byline, the version with the byline, the print the bright version of the the bright version with the byline, the the print version with the byline, a variant used on their website, and the signage. So that's it. And that's it, it's all over. Who wins the showdown? Pixar Animation Studios or DreamWorks Animation. Vote now in the community tab. You got three days to do it. Voting close to three days after this video is published, you decide who wins it all. So make make the most out of this. So We'll see what happens in the next episode. Otherwise, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this episode of Logo History Showdown. I hope you all enjoyed it. Be on the lookout for Logo History coming soon. It will be about Cinemark. And also, the next episode of Lo of Logo Reviews is Yonamas. So don't miss it. Be on the lookout for our next episode of Pokemon Exploration. That episode is Butterfree. And on um, Inside Animal Crossing, we'll be looking at Annabelle. So we expect that video to come out very soon. I, ho I hope you all look forward to it. So don't miss it, guys. Otherwise... For the rest of the schedule, please check us out on the movie and Don't forget about movie history, Tree Wars Animation. It's going to be about how to treat your track at the hit of world. For now, thanks again for watching. I'm your guy Sanchez. You be yourself. And I will see you next time on Logo History Showdown. Stay tuned for the next showdown, episode 21. The most popular potential brands, Lay's vs. Pringles. So stay tuned for it. We got we got a big one coming your way. Lay's vs. Pringles. That's next time on Logo History Showdown. I, I'm not sure what's going to happen next, but we will get there. I promise you, it'll be good, so stay tuned for it. Otherwise, if, we're, if you want to go catch up on past episodes, please go check out the playlist right now. It's up there at the top right corner screen. Click the info card above. Watch it whenever you want, anytime you want. With that said, thanks again for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share this video with your friends. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to never miss a new video. Subscribe to the notification to never miss a new video for me as we're on the road to two to 3,100 subscribers. Thank you again for watching. Take care. I'll talk to you guys again next time on Local History Showdown. I'm because Sanchez Layoff. Like, favorite, subscribe. I'll see you in another video. Laters!